Hey everyone, welcome back to TK's Tech Talk. Today I'm going to be unboxing this AK620 CPU air cooler, uh, which I've chosen to use to cool my new build of the 12900K PC. And I have a separate video which uh, details all of the steps for building that PC. And the reason I've chosen an air cooler is because um, I just didn't want the hassle of the water cooler just in case there were issues. I haven't used one before, but I do know that the 12900K runs hot. So maybe if this doesn't work out, I'll move over to an air cooler, an AIO or something like that. So let's open this up. Admittedly, I've already opened this box because I bought it while I was in the UK and just wanted to make sure everything was intact. So let's just open it up. It's got a cooler packaging inside. It's got a deep cool logo. So opening the box up, we are presented with the deep cool fan. I can't remember if it was this way up, but there's the fan inside. So this one actually has two 120 mil fans and we have a box on the side which has uh, mounting brackets for AMD and Intel. I believe this is the Intel brackets and this is the AMD brackets. And then we have some thermal paste. We have the fan connector, I believe. And then there's some information inside. So let's get that out and you also get this nice long screwdriver to help putting the screws into the heat sink so let's take out so what's why actually before i open that i just wanted to show you this but i actually received the lga 1700 mounting kit from deep cool uh, for free if you buy a, a lga 1700 motherboard or a 12th gen CPU, they would actually send this to you for free. You can apply for it on their website. So I was I was sent that. It did come in a box. I took it out of the box and I forgot where I put the box. So at least I still have the instructions. And um, we'll come to that in a moment. So let's have a look at the cooler itself. Let's take that out of the box. And there it is. It really is quite big. The fans are actually smaller than uh, something like the AS500, I believe, and the Assassin. They have 140 millimeter fans. This has two 120 millimeter fans. And I've also already seen a, a, a website. I don't know what website it was, but I've seen um, a comparison of this to uh, AIO. I think it was a True Loop 280 or something. And naturally, the True Loop 280 is better than this. But this actually seem to have some reasonably good results considering it's an AIO. So I will test that myself anyway and let you know how I get on. So I'm not going to peel that until I install it. But like I said, I will be using it with the 12900K. And feel free to check out my other video which details that build which comprises of a MSI motherboard and a, a RTX 3090. So it's got some nice logos here on the heatsink at the top. It's got some nice simple designs to the fan. I actually like the design of this. I mean, that's essentially how we look inside the case. And you'd get, get to see a better look at that uh, once it's inside my PC case. And I really do like this design on the mesh at the back there. I think you can just about catch that on the camera. I'm not sure if that actually helps with cooling, but it looks like it might, but at least it looks nice. Well, when you can see that is. So before I go, let me just point out one more thing quickly, which I was gonna mention. So the LGA 1700 bracket, what I noticed was, let's take this out of the packaging. I believe there may be some different mounts for different types of motherboards, or I'm not sure if it's comparable to the um, LGA 1200. Let's just compare these brackets quickly because I, I noticed something interesting about this bracket. So this is the original LGA 1200 bracket. Right, and you can see it says Intel on there. I think you can may maybe make that in the video. <clears throat> this one also says Intel, okay? But they're slightly different shapes. And this one has these interesting feet on the end. I don't, I don't know if they come off, but there's one thing interesting about this. Basically, these screws, they actually move. So this goes in behind the motherboard, right? If you watch this, if I clip down, it clips into a different position. So, depending on which type of mounting hold your motherboard has, this can actually be moved and then positioned and put through your motherboard. Now what I wanted to see was, does that become, 
right i think what they've done i'm not sure if i can show you this properly on camera but i'll try i think what they've done is they've essentially tried to make one bracket which will fit everything so now this bracket can be used for both the lga 1200 and the lga 1700 just by moving that screw because if you look at this carefully now the screws are more or less lined up they're in the same place I don't really know how to show this to you better, but if I line all of the screws up here together, you can just about see that all of the screws are now in line. So maybe that was the purpose behind it. Maybe this is gonna be the one for all solution with this clever design of moving the brackets. So let me just quickly have a look in the manual. I think maybe it mentions that in here somewhere. And I haven't read it yet, admittedly. No, it just says, LGA 1700 doesn't really say that it's for 1200 well it does say to push it out for 1700 it does, it does mention that there <clears throat> yeah it doesn't it, it doesn't necessarily say it's LGA 1200 compatible but I'm guessing by this by this configuration I'm guessing it is anyway if you have any questions about that please let me know and thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one